Oh, Puzz 3D. And it's Norman Rockwell. I don't know. These things are a little rough. Like, they don't tend to go for a bunch, but maybe that one, who knows? All right, guys, so we went in there. We got one item. I didn't shoot an intro on the way in, but this is it. My name's Dustin, this is Jessica. <laughs> we're going out thrifting and we're gonna go find stuff. Uh, all right, guys, we're running into the next door here and we only got like one thing, small item at the other store, so I'm hoping to hit it big. One used. I'm gonna pass on him. So you said Clay Matthews is good. So we got a Clay Matthews here. We've got a whole bunch of these to look through. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. So it looks like we're gonna just get these two, the ornaments as they're the only ones that really comp where we want to be for $2.99. So we're gonna go ahead and do one quick lap and leave. It's running into another Goodwill so far. We found like three things, no heavy hitters yet, but maybe that will change. Look at this. No clue who owns the copyright to this music, so not taking any chances. I don't know how long I demoed it, but it's pretty sick. And the mouth moves along with the song. So. I saw that. That's funny. <laughs> oh, it even had a tag here. Sound and light, animatronics. Let me double check. I don't want to get something just for the sake of getting it. So we ran in there really just to see like if anything new had been put out a second time today. Probably will be our last stop here just because we got so much going on like we do every day Always. Uh, But we're gonna go to like probably three Man my fingers. Okay, three more thrifts not four <laughs> All right, we're gonna go to three more thrifts. Slow start so far. Let's see what we find in here Hmm, this might have potential now Land's End 1x Under Armour, maybe. Oh, we've got this guy. So these birds, do you want it? Very slow. So it's about 99. How much, how much did we go in the last one? It's a three piece. I, I only grabbed it. Peter Rabbit set. It's missing a piece. No, that's the small Oh, to hold it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, you got it. Um, i say about 35. Oh, that's pretty sick. $3.99. And then this is another Harry it's... Potter wand. But this one's from Universal. I think. And then I'm going to confirm on the Bluebird. What we let, we, we've sold these so many times. So this one's probably like... 14 plus 8 shipping, 16 net or gross. I mean, do you want it? Just get it? Yeah, why not? All right, so we're gonna grab him for $1.99 uh, Bluebird of Happiness. We've sold these a few times. And then I don't know about this Hydra Flow. It seems like a Stanley knockoff by Capri. They're not going for like a lot. So we're gonna put this back and then this is the Harry Potter wand that I picked up I'm... here, and she's looking it up right now. We're really just trying to be careful on what we take in. The Under Armour we'll probably get just because it's in season. So this is from Universal. I don't know, who, I don't know whose wand it is. Though. It's from Universal Orlando, and is Ron hmm. right there. So it's Ron Beasley or Weasley, Weasley, Beasley. Beasley. <laughs> you see, <him? laughs> there's gonna be some. Uh, uh, Hufflepuff's mad at me in the comments, right? I don't even know what... That's like the school. Like, there are the Hufflepuffs and yeah, the Slytherin. I don't think he was a Hufflepuff. Was he not a Hufflepuff? I think they were Gryffindors. I've Aren't Hufflepuffs and Gryffindors friends? All right. I don't know. Anyways. Probably 30 to 40. 30 to 40? Yeah. All right, so we got this. We're gonna get this for four ninety nine. This is a pretty good little haul so far. I'd like to double check the jacket. So if you look here, this is a sold for members mark nine inch teal, but the handle is different. 
both handles are different and the inside here is like that white enamel and there's only one sold to represent like the whole thing and there's none listed i'm probably gonna just pass on it can you grab that Didn't even see it coming. A quantity of food. Quality of food. Yeah, but the thing is, like, if I get first watch and I want pancakes, then, like, I get nothing else. <laughs> but if you go to Perkins, you risk your oh. potatoes, your hash browns not being very crispy. Well, that happened once. You can get potatoes. That would be no, I like hash browns. Two dollars, brand new Athleta. So that's a yes. Is that not? I think this is gonna be pretty. Like two bucks. It's not even like a a real gamble, you know. Um, Kill crew. We're just walking around finding stuff. I've been working the racks. There's probably something here. So these are like 40. The self is like 50% on the brand. Oh, sure. The one in black here is uh, sold. There's none listed of this style. So this is No, this is Carhartt. It's got this company on it. But it's new with tag. New with tag. Probably. It's a hefty one. Hillary Duff wrote a book. I think she wrote a couple books. Oh. What do you think about, like, brand new? This one's brand new, so that's obvious. It's probably like a fortune, dude. Yeah. You didn't get this uh, heavy. I do like him. If I got him, I'd get him, I'd get him for us. I'd get him as a barn decoration. Do you want it that bad? No, I don't want it that bad. Oh, okay. I mean, if you want to get it, I'm not no. trying to stand in the way of your dreams. Okay. You don't think this would be a whatnot thing? I'm not going to whatnot. I just don't want to four bucks, five bucks. All right, so we just bought one thing in there. We're going to head down the road. Kind of made a mistake earlier and forgot about an estate sale we wanted to go to. Not a huge deal. We're going to go out and thrift and make up for it. Yeah. 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 These are Bondi 8s. Hmm. So that could possibly be good. They're not terrible, but they're not amazing in shape. But they're expensive shoes normally. Found some Bondi 8s focused for five. I mean, they're pretty good shape. They really just be clean, but like this foam's usually really chipped up. It's not like, not amazing. So do you want them? I got Minecraft shoes. They saw those. 95. And look, it does have some creases. Mm-hmm. On there, and is the self fruit good? I mean, self fruit's yeah, it's a polka. I mean, it's hard to do okay. self fruit based on just condition. Is that a chunk there's, ripped off the side? Uh, yeah, yeah, and there's also wear on the spec. Yeah, we're gonna pass on them, guys. So, um, for a while, you could any hoka you listed would sell, but like if it's even one, like that. yeah, but now, like. Uh, and this is my experience. These don't tend to sell unless they're like really nice. So there we go. Just 
Yeah, yeah it's a keychain. Pop. It's, it's $1.99. I mean, it's no Ray, so. Obviously. Much more ed interesting character development there. Mm -hmm. Do you see this? Yeah. No way. Okay, so look at this. Come here. So I thought this was a camera case. And marked the $24.99. I mean the right camera, you never know. Got an AC adapter. Game Boy. No. And the Game Boy multi tap. So we're gonna pick this up. Uh, this looks, well, these battery connectors are really clean. And the screen has minor scratching, which is kind of be expected with age. I'm not seeing any, oh, Tetris. That's another 10 bucks in value right there. This is for a day. I've not been a busy day, but that's pretty sweet. I'm super excited about that. It's a uh, reason I get so excited about something like that is like, quite honestly, like we don't find a lot of this stuff out thrifting. So really cool. Mm -hmm. What does this say? Hold, hold from the bottom. Um, I'm not sure. Rackliff. R A C K L I F F E. R A C K R what? R A C K L I F F E. What was the second word? Blue Hill. Uh, L I F F E. Blue, Blue Hill. Oh. Yeah, I'm good at that. So, those cups, that's a mug. 99 shipping. I think we should get this because the self on the brand's good. Is also oh, yeah, the same. These. Um, the, their vase sold for 27 plus 10 shipping. Um, it's a different shape of vase, but I don't think this one's even listed. If we, I think if we list this right, we'll do okay. This is your woman, William Sonoma. But since you were on the side with the car. Oh, um, this is, um, what you call it? Jeez, I'm so knowledgeable. You have Roseville. I don't know if you want it with lid. That Roseville stuff's kind of tough. That came from the estate sale that we went to. We've seen this already. No, it's the same piece that I looked at. The exact same one. That's the sale, yeah. That I saw. Yeah, this is the uh, let's say sale leftover haul. That's the clear Pyrex from that same sale too. Oh, this is uh, really cool. Do you see this vintage craft? Uh, there's a Mr. Coffee there. I, I think that's from that sale and it's not new. You like the double-sided mirror? So we can both use it. My side might be prettier. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> There's your cat. Five. Which isn't terrible. What is it? Cheaper than it was at the estate sale. It's not a major manufacturer. Oh, then but I... But it is retro. Would probably consider not. I don't know. If I you're going to buy a retro hammered... Croc. You're going to buy... One Maybe. of your top couple brands. Are you? Mm -hmm. We will be getting this, as you mentioned, the Athleta sweater vest here. We're back at the barn after a couple days of thrifting. Here to provide you a recap on everything that we picked up. So in no particular order, we do have this uh, set of Athleta set. I don't know. Shorts. They're Athleta shorts. Hey. It, pair yeah. they are brand new with tag so like the retail on this is gonna be like 69 dollars. we got it for two so that's a pretty good disparity i'm hoping that we get around the 30 dollar price point that sounds about right. once we get into season we'll list it right away so they're up on the store and ready to go for when spring arrives and then we got these i thought were interesting this is the stuff that walking around the store stuck out to me we didn't like really search the racks heavy yesterday when we went and this is this Kill Crew. 
And we do have a soul comp. I forget exactly what it was, but it was good. It's on the screen. It was the black version of this as opposed to the gray sweats. Then we did get this $10 Carhartt Rain Defender. And I want to say these go for crazy money, like 80 plus dollars, brand new or something. The, the Rain Defender version. I have like the basic one and this thing wasn't even cheap. And it does have a, a company logo on it, unfortunately. So while we pay $10, I'm hoping if we get like 40 to 50, I would be pretty happy. I know somebody's gonna be like, there's no way you'll get that. I mean, I'm guessing off of experience. We have sold Carhartt stuff in the past with company logos on it before. Uh, this is an Athleta. We just got this Athleta sweater dress. Yeah. And it is medium tall, empty. And we paid like $5.99 or $4.89, depending. Each store's a little bit different in the region on clothing. We'll call it five bucks. Yeah, it's like five bucks, whatever. And probably like $30. I mean, you get this kind of stuff for like $5, but it doesn't cost that much to ship. It's not a lot of effort to list. It's not a lot of effort. So it is pretty solid. And again, like the shorts I picked up, I just saw this. Athleta is a good brand with a fairly decent sell through on the platform. And then kind of, I guess since we're talking clothing, cause I'm the clothing expert, <laughs> we've got Under Armour hoodie here. I paid, uh, this was definitely 489 plus tax, uh, probably 25 to 30 on that. So again, uh, something I picked up, but not very really a home run, but should be good. I did find this Lance End jacket here. It is the Squall. I'm gonna guess 40 and we got about $5 into it. 5.99 I think is the coat price. We have uh, this Blue microphone. So if you guys don't know, Blue is a very famous microphone manufacturing company. This is an XLR version, not a USB one. So like I used a Blue USB microphone, the Blue, uh, not Blue Snowball, but the uh, Blue, Yeti. Blue Yeti for like probably the first year and a half here on YouTube. Then um, it just stopped working at one point. Uh, we got this, probably whatnot. It's a little Fisher Price thing, 99 cents. I'm guessing maybe four or five bucks is what we'll get for that. We got this Puzzle 3D, uh, Norman Rockwell, and I think this comps out at about 30. So th there was an estate sale we went to a couple videos ago. Uh, if you are faithful viewers, that you probably remember that we went to. Well, this was there. They had donated apparently a lot of their stuff. So we ended up getting this for five bucks, which is cheaper than what they had it priced for. These were like 20 bucks at that estate sale. And we didn't want to get them then. But uh, at $7, we were willing to pay that for the Williams Sonoma Bowls. And those should be going for around the 50, 60 mark, yeah. which is pretty crazy. We had this Roseville Pottery. That was something that was at that estate sale. Uh, four ninety nine. I don't. I'm not sure if this, this was, or not. was or not. But we're gonna take a gamble on it because it's brand new. It's retro and super cool. Uh, you want to tell them about this? Oh, um, yeah. I've already forgotten the name of it. Oh, Rick Cliff. We could split it up like cups, cups, this, that. But I think we'll just do one big set, and and I'm not really sure what price we'll ask for it. For a more complete cup and saucer set, there's like one twenty five. But this is as many pieces as that. I'm gonna say maybe we'd be lucky to get 75, maybe for the whole lot. And then we paid like, this was like a dollar 99, dollar 99. The cups are 2.99 for two. And I think that was a 2.99 for the vase. So, I mean, we'll definitely make some money. Just found this candle. I don't know much about it, except it's the world's it's best a candle. three wick white bar. Guaranteed. Uh, it's white barn. Tis the season is the smell. Oh, it's white barn. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And of course, in the Rika case, this was the big surprise of the day. You want to tell them that we got these two things and then tell them about that? Oh, is that it? Uh, yeah, I guess yeah. that would be oh, smart. Oh, and this guy. Yeah. Yeah, we got that. You already saw him. Several times. Oh, and um, a, a couple. couple Hallmark ornaments for Green Bay Packers lovers. Well, Steeler. Oh, oops. Steeler and, and a Green Bay Packer, yeah. yeah. Troy Palomalu and Clay Matthews. And then Peter the Rabbit. Or the Peter Rabbit, it's a three-piece set, which I don't know what it comes out to be. And the 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 Bluebird of, Blue Happiness. of Happiness for two dollars. Yeah, two and now bucks. your excellent five. Okay, so here is, uh, it's probably not the. I don't even think it's the most valuable find. It actually is slightly, probably the most valuable find, but we paid up. Uh, I mean, kind of paid up. 
It's $25, which is a fairly good deal. It's certainly the coolest find, I think. And then we have the Tetris game that came with it in there. We put four batteries, but we haven't turned it on yet. So we're going to do that together, guys. Wait, let's make sure the volume's up. Oh, it even has, see that external connector? Mm -hmm. That's a cover and that comes up missing. Oh, it does. Cr it is cracked down the side there. I didn't see that. Oh, no. That's a bummer. But does it work? That's not good. Does the light come on? Uh, that's a tough go. In hindsight, we probably should have asked if they had batteries and we could have tested it there. I used to do that like years ago when it was like, I was so, I was running very, a very tight and lean ship when I was out picking because I was like making enough to pay my bills and maybe buy more inventory. You trying to say we run things fast and loose here? Yes. <laughs> compared to that then <laughs> and i'd be like do you have double ways and man people would get so annoyed when i would ask for like oh do you have the id i'd have like pile of stuff i'd be like i need two c batteries <laughs> uh four double ways two triple ways and i'm gonna start carrying a purse and then i'm just it's gonna be full of batteries somebody tries to rob you Whack! Obviously a little bit disappointing with the uh, condition on the Game Boy there having to sell it for parts. Now, they do have a very generous return policy of seven days, which I uh, started reselling in Columbus right after I got out of the army. And that region didn't at the time. I don't know if they do now have a return policy like it was all as is. And we do have some as is thrift stores so like you buy it you own it in our market or the goodwill in our region is nice enough to you know have a return policy of seven days on this particular instance i'm probably going to keep it most of the time we don't actually like get around to returning to stuff either in time or it just kind of slows us down so we just kind of sell it for parts if we can in this case we are going to sell it for parts because we can still make a little bit of money doing it that way. Um, I think we probably get about $45 for the unit, about $18 for Tetris, and I'm gonna say maybe $10 for that, uh, why do I wanna call it a four square? They, uh, Cause it's a square, but four player adapter. So, I mean, we'll make a little bit of profit, probably like just under a double up. So still, wow, disappointing and a little bit heartbreaking. Still a great find and definitely some other great finds at that store. Love that store. One of the newer ones in our region and just definitely a good one. <laughs> and anyways, going to wrap it up here. Got a little rambly here at the end. Uh, Jess is up at the bar and I'm about to go join her. And with that, we both want to thank you for watching today and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>